Hey guys, Steve here again, uh, back again with another Goal tutorial. Um, in this episode we're going to start talking about uh, packages. Um, so again, we're going to start with this simple little program. Um, it simply just prints out the number 42 to the screen. I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to start using a different uh, command to run my programs now, so I'm going to skip the building. I'm just going to do, do go run packaging.go that will run that file and we can see 42 print, print to the screen. Now all the applications we've had within our tutorials up, up, up to now we've been using packaging but we haven't really talked about it um, at all. Um, so we can see here that um, we're importing this thing called FMT. Right? That is the format package. So that is me importing a package into my application so it's available to be used. So by importing this, this package, I can then reference that package and then reference a function within that package and use that to do something within my code. You know, and then having that code encapsulated into a separate package means I can use that same uh, those same functions across many many app applications and uh, there's lots of packages available out there to use I won't go through many of them but one thing we will do in this quick tutorial is we're going to create our, our own package and look at some of the things that we need to look out for when we're actually creating packages um, so I'm going to create a new package inside this application here um, just for demonstration purposes um, so Go kind of forces you to, um, if you're doing packaging this kind of way, it forces you to put it in a folder of its own. So I'm going to create a package called my mat or a folder called my mat package. And I need to create a file in there and I'm going to call it my mat .go. So this is where, this is the file I'm going to put my code for this package in. Um, so I need to start it with a package name. And that package name is going to be my mat. So we're kind of keeping the names the same here. Um, we'll see, we'll be able to reference our functions within this package using that package name afterwards. We'll see, see that working. So I'm going to create two functions here. Um, and I'm going to do something um interesting that we'll take a look at afterwards so i'm going to create an add function and that's going to return a plus b so that's going to return or add those two uh, parameters together that we're passing into the function and return the, the result and if you notice here i've created this function name with a capital letter at at the start what that means is um, that function is going to be available to applications who import my package. Now I'm going to create another function called subtract. I'm going to create this one with a lowercase letter to start with, just to prove a point. Um, and it's going to return a minus b, obviously. Um, now, because I've declared this function with a lowercase letter to start with, um, it means that function is only going to be available within my mat package. It's not going to be available to any other application that imports that package. So, and we'll demonstrate that now. Okay. Um, so, what 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 we need to do to make this package available to other applications is we need to install it into our uh, Go runtime on our, on our machine here. So to do that, I'm going to go to the terminal down here in the bottom. I'm going to CD into the My Math folder and I'm just going to run Go install. What Go, in, Go install does is um, it packages, it, 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 it compiles that MyMath.go file and it places it in a package directory uh, within our our go path so this is my go path here's the package directory um, the source for my application is here 
Um, then in the package directory, we can see it has like a, an OS folder. So this might look different depending on what operating system is on your machine. And I can see a packaging folder and I can see a, a mymat.a file. So that is um, my package compiled and it's made available as a linkable uh, file here within the packaging directory. So let's go and try and use that now. So I'll cd back out to my uh, main main directory. I'll go back to my main file. Um, now I should be able to uh, import my mat. So that so that package is now available for me to import into this app application, and it's also available to because it's installed in my Go runtime on my on my laptop. Any other application that I write on this computer, I'll be able to import that um, uh, package as well. Um, so let's try and use it here. So um, I'm going to do my math dot, and we can see that the the add function is is available, but the subtract function is not. Now that, that's because the subtract function starts with a lowercase letter and the add function starts with an uppercase letter. Um, so go back here, do dot add, and I'm going to add the two numbers, uh, 16 and 26 together. Save that and go run packaging.go. I get the answer 42 again. So that's... Um, showing you how to import a package and uh, utilize it ba basically or cr create a package import it and use it um, just a quick note on the import statements here um, this is kind of uh, more vo verbose than it needs to be um, what i what i can do here is i can just use one import statement and just get rid of that and i can wrap them up in parentheses like this and that's exact, exactly the same, so I can do all of my imports within this one block um, without having to write import loads and loads of times. Um, if I do go run, just to prove that that's still working as expected, we get the answer 42. Um, now just to take a look at and prove that, you know, the thing about the uppercase uh, function names or function names that start with uppercase letters get exposed um, to any application and import them and the, the lowercase ones don't. I'm going to change the subtract function to be an uppercase letter. Now by changing that I will have to reinstall it again so if I go into the my math folder and go install that installs it, cd back out. Now if I go back to my uh, main file, if I do my mat and hit the, the dot so I get the code completion, I'll see the two functions now. So I can see add and subtract. So they're now both available um, to applications that import this uh, package. Um, so that's it for packaging, I guess. Um, so it's, it's, a, it's, it's an easy way for you to um, you know, encapsulate some, some of your code and package it up and then make that code available across multiple applications that, that you might be writing. Um, so that's it. Thanks for watching. Um, if you like these videos, obviously subscribe to the channel, hit the like button. Um, leave me know in the comments if there's something that you want me to cover in particular. I'll go through it. Um, so I'll see you later.